Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we have somewhat of a mil-spec kind of field watch. Um, this was a watch that was originally designed actually by Waltham in the beginning of World War II. And this is the Tom Rice edition. Uh, it's a pretty cool watch. has some decent specifications. Obviously has that nice look and um, you can see even by the canvas strap here. Um, very militaristic. Um, obviously a kind of field watch that was used during World War II. I think it's a pretty cool watch. Um, this is the 38 millimeter version. There's a 38 millimeter and a 42 millimeter version offered by Persidis Watches. And yeah, it's just a pretty cool looking watch. Um, feels very authentic to the original. Um, this is the Tom Rice edition. There's also a Speranza edition as well. Um, this one supposedly was when he was parachuting Tom Rice. He lost his watch in, um, during the drop on Normandy Beach during D-Day. And that's what this kind of follows the theme by. And uh, yeah, let's see what's on my wrist and we'll dig a little deeper into this nifty little field watch. On my wrist today is the new Orient watch I picked up. It's a 200 meter diver on the stock bracelet, as you can see here, uh, in the green. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I've never owned a green diver in my life. So yeah, uh, kind of liking the green, the whole green trend. I think it's very cool. It's a nice color. And especially things are warming up on the East Coast. Um, green would look pretty nice in the summer. Now the Type A11 Tom Rice comes in this kind of very kind of militaristic box, something like you would receive like a standard issue uh, military watch, and which is pretty cool. It's the Type A11 Tom Rice labeled here, and inside you do get your warranty as well. There's the company name, Price Cetus. Inside you do get um, covered by the A11 tape here. You do get your dog tag warranty. And if you order any other bands, I'm going to show you, actually, I got another band. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different varieties of bands. And if you order the extra bands, they come in these little kind of cardboard packages, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is a different style band, as you can see here, and the one that's on the watch. Uh, quick release, of course. I'll show you this one towards the end of the video. Um, but yeah, you can add on as many bands as you want. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Price point of this watch is about $249.99 US dollars, so it's not too expensive, a uh, very affordable price. Now the watch itself is crafted of solid 316L stainless steel. It is sandblasted, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, has a very nice smooth feel to it. You get an oversized crown drilled lug holes. The finishing is pretty good, I must say. It's sandblasted on the sides and the bezel, and then it's highly polished on the top portion of the lugs there, uh, which give it a very nice look. Um, I think the lugs help a little to make the watch pop a little bit, give it a little bit more character. Um, as you can see, the case cut is very good. Everything is very smooth. There are no sharp edges or anything like that. The watch itself is 38 millimeters across. So if you have a smaller wrist, 38 would be great for you, like six to seven inch wrist, I'd say, even though these watches were smaller back then. Um, but in modern days, uh, 38 to 42 is a very good size. You're looking at 12.5 millimeters thick. So really not that thick for an automatic timepiece. Lug to lug, very nice at 45 millimeters. You get 20 millimeter lugs. We get a double domed mineral crystal with anti-reflective coating. Very nice dome for that kind of vintage look. We get 50 meters of water resistance, a pull and push crown, a very nice inscribed case back. And also you'll be able to get these, some of them have the bullet on the case back. This one doesn't. Offering on their new Kickstarter campaign, which is live on Kickstarter right now. I will drop a link to their Kickstarter campaign down in the comment section or description below. So you can check them out after this video. Um, but yeah, there's two options. It comes in the matte black dial and also it comes in a kind of creamy dial. I think the matte black for me is the way to go. Um, we have green loom on the nice hands. Getting a little closer, you have that matte black dial, cathedral style hands, kind of candlewick hour hands. We have a 60 minute track on the outer portion and your numerals 12 through 11. Very legible, very easy to read, which was its intended use. And yeah, uh, I think overall, you know, it's a pretty decent looking watch. Um, inside of this watch, well, what's powering this watch? Obviously it's automatic, right? We're getting the NH35. Um, it's a pretty common movement, 24 joules, hand winding, hacking. You get about a 40 hour power reserve. They're very reliable, pretty accurate. They beat at three Hertz. Um, the crown itself is nice. It's a bit oversized. Gives it a nice vintage look, in my opinion. I really like how they did the crown here. It is polished on the outer portion. Very good grip, though. You can self-wind it, which is actually really smooth through the larger crown. Let me pull out one position here. You get a quick set. Oh, there's no, it's a ghost date. Then your final position is your hacking position, and we can set the time here. Very good actuation of the crown and the hands. I'm going to go ahead and set the time here now to, let's say, 10.10. 10. Push that back down, and it's all good. 
so everything functions as it should. Case back is actually pretty cool. Looks very kind of militaristic here. Um, let's say Pricetus Type A11 Tom Rice. This is the uh, Airborne Division from 1944, the Lost Watch of D-Day, uh, which is pretty cool. Spiral brushing and screwed down. These watches are also assembled in the USA, which is pretty cool. Parts are imported, obviously, from Asia and assembled in the United States. Now, the strap is very true to form of a kind of a militaristic watch. You get quick, you get quick release bars here. You can change straps in a second. And it just has that very nice kind of canvas feel to it. It looks very kind of army-like. Um, you get two keepers here. You get a polished buckle here. Um, it is, um, I wouldn't say it's stiff. It's uh, pretty easy to break in. You're going to probably break it in within about three or four days of wear, uh, which is not an issue. Um, but the watch does also have some pretty nice loom. Um, so let's take a look at the loom, and I'll show you what that's about. As you can see the loom on the watch is pretty good. It glows a nice green color. Um, it's definitely very legible, evenly applied. Uh, like the hands are not brighter than the numerals or anything like that. You get loomed hands, numerals, and the little dots above the numerals. Uh, not super, super potent, but potent enough for, you know, you can say that this watch has pretty decent loom. My 6.5 inch wrist, the 38 really sits at home on this nice band. I kind of put it over that. I like how it fits. I have a little more bulk here. Um, that's just how I like to wear it. Um, but yeah, as you can see across my wrist, it fits perfectly at that 45 millimeter lug to lug width. Um, the crystal, very legible. We have anti-reflective coating on the double domed mineral. Gives it some more legibility. You're not going to get all those weird glares and reflections, so that's nice to see. Um, the band itself is comfortable. It feels very good quality. No issue with this band at all. Um, but yeah, just a very kind of militaristic look. Um, good to wear. Obviously not a dressy style watch. Good to wear day to day, I'd say. Um, but yeah, definitely comfortable on the wrist and sits very nice and flat. Now the other band that it came with, uh, which you can add on on the website, is this kind of darker color band. It's a darker brown. It's a bit more sturdy, I'd say. Um, for me, I prefer that kind of canvas style band. It's really more true to the original watch. Um, but also, if you know, if you want to switch up, as always, um, you can always change bands. These do have quick release, so you can change it within like 10 seconds. You just pop this off, pop the new one in, and there's no issues there. It just gives you some options uh, to change bands, uh, which is always nice. Oh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the new A11 Tom Rice edition. I think it's a pretty cool watch. I think they did a good job mimicking the original watch of World War II that was serviced, or, or that was a service watch issued to the military. I think it looks pretty true to form. I like the design of the case. I like the larger crown. I like how they did the hands and the numerals. I like how there's no logo on the dial. Um, definitely appears like a true military watch. Um, yeah, I think they did a pretty good job. There's no quality control issues on my end on this watch. Everything came very nicely packaged. Um, shipping was about four or five days, I believe, and then it arrived. Um, but yeah, I think it's a pretty cool watch to add to your collection if you want something different, something kind of with a history behind it, even though this is not the original brand that produced the, the A11 Waltham. It's um, a homage to that, I'd say, or, you know, something similar to that, uh, which is pretty cool considering those are not made anymore. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. This is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews with the Tom Rice A11 Edition by Parcetus Watches. Uh, you can check out their Kickstarter. We'll drop a link down in the description below. It is live on Kickstarter, and I believe they're fully funded. Um, but yeah, definitely leave your comments, suggestions, queries, everything down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, throw the video a like, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.